heard a wise person say, either you run the day or the day runs you. You didn't wake up today to lose, but only you get to choose how this day will go. You woke up today to win. So let's start it off the right way. Our ultimate goal is to be more productive today than we were yesterday. Our ultimate goal is to be more productive tomorrow than we were today. So I need you to mentally get yourself focused. I need you to mentally get yourself locked in. I need you to mentally prepare to go dominate this day. See, if you want to be more productive, you need to become a master of your minutes. You need to become a master of your time and not fall into that state of overwhelm. Oh, I know, because I've been there. And right now, you got a lot of things to do today. But the problem is, it's all in your mind. It's all in your brain. Because how can you hit a target that you can't see? How can you make a basket on a goal that you don't have? We want massive production and not just busy work. Yeah, you know the things that you need to do, but you don't have it mapped out. Your internal GPS is not set. Your internal GPS is not locked in. And that sets you up to not be very productive today. Focus on being productive instead of just busy because you can do a whole lot of stuff in a day and have nothing to show for it. And that means tomorrow, you right back at square one, wondering where the time went. Step one, step two, step three, step four. I'm doing this at 7.45. I'm doing this at 8.30. I'm doing this at 10.30. I'm doing this at 12.30. That's how you become more productive. by knowing what you need to accomplish and knowing when you need to accomplish it. You don't need more time in your day. You need to decide. You need to make a decision. You need to have a well thought out plan. You're born with a gift. If not that, then you get good at something along the way. And what you're good at, you don't take for granted. You don't betray it. What if you do betray your gift? You betray yourself. For far too long, you've been holding yourself back. It's just time for you to walk with purpose. It's time for you to walk into your gift. It's time for you to live your best life. We're gonna make mistakes. You gotta own them. Then you gotta make amends. And then you gotta move on. So turn the page, get off the ride. You are the author of the book of your life. Turn that page. The only person you're destined to become is the person you decide to be. And you never made a mistake, it means you never tried. If you never tried, it means you never took a chance. If you never took a chance, you never believed in yourself, you never had faith. You need faith, you need to believe in yourself. And it doesn't matter how many times you fail. What matters is you keep getting up every day and trying again. And that's what really is important at knowing that. You know, each day you have an opportunity to change. But I want to give you a new word for change. And that word is evolution. And you are either going to evolve or expire. See, everything changes. The economy changes. Relationship changes. We change mentally and emotionally and physically and you are either dying or you are either living. Life always offers you a second chance. You know what it's called? Tomorrow. See change as growth. See change as transformation. See change as evolution. Your history is not your destiny. You can't get it because you want it. If you put in the work, they can't deny it. If you put in the work, they can't stop you. Don't you realize that you are enough? Don't you realize that you are special? Don't you realize you were put in for a reason? Because you were born to prosper. Be great. 
pursue your own version of happiness. It's wrapped in your capacity, your ability to believe in a dream, even if nobody believes in you. It's two people born in a hospital every day. It's a person that's born in a hospital that's going to get a job, and somebody born in a hospital that's going to give them a job. You get to decide which one you're going to Cheers to you. Nah, better yet. Here's to the new you. It's a new day, it's a new time, and a new era. Change can be scary. But you know what's scarier? It's when you allow fear to stop you from growing. To stop you from evolving. For far too long, regression has been a daily part of your life. And that all starts right now. So cheers to the new you. The improved you. The better you. See, everything you ever wanted in your life is on the other side of the changes that you will start making today. It's on the other side of the consistent, intentional action that you will start taking today. See, your goal is three months from now, six months from now, nine months from now, a year from now, is for you to be able to pat yourself on the back because you know all of the hard work and everything that you put in it to be the new version of you. And it all starts with you taking that first step on your trip to your destination of greatness. See, those of you who will evolve, who are willing to evolve, you will inherit the future. Those of you who are willing to take everything you do to the next level, you will inherit the future. It is the individual who is willing to become more you're trying to get to the point that greatness, it just exudes you. Greatness is in your spirit. When you walk into a room, people feel the greatness that's coming off of you. You radiate greatness. I see change as transformation. I see change as evolution. I see change as beauty, brilliance. I see change as the future. I see change as necessary. I see that if I don't change, there is a generation of people who are going to be stuck in the same place. Change is inevitable. You are either changing for the worse or changing for the better. You decide. It's time for you to go from the downtrodden to next level living. You will die to the old you and you will resurrect the new you, the improved you, the better you, person you're born to be, the person you're meant to be, and the person you want to be. So I need you to release the unchangeable past and embrace your phenomenal future. The lie. Somebody lied to you and told you that it was impossible. Every time somebody told me I could not do something, I had a decision that I had to make in order to achieve what they said was impossible. Because greatness lives in you. It's just time for you to let the world see it. It's time for you to let yourself see it. It's time for you to believe it. The next level awaits. But the next level will require you to die to the old you and metamorph into the new you. They're well on their way to best you. People tell me all the time, it's hard to get wealthy. It's hard to grind. It's hard to be focused. How do you even do these speeches? It's hard to stay motivated. It's hard to stay broke. It's hard to stay depressed. It's hard to stay governed by anxiety. It's hard to be inconsistent. It's hard not to have daily disciplines. It's hard not to believe in yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to be poor. It's hard. It's all hard. So choose your heart. You either gonna work for it. You gonna sit there and let life knock you down and dare you to get back up. <laughs>